الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ و سلم علی نبی محمد و علیہ علی و صحبہ و سلم مبع There are many things that bring about our happiness and sadness in this life. And in an authentic hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, the Prophet ﷺ let us know, let us, uh, informed us of some of those things which bring about our happiness and some of those things which can bring about our misery. عن سار بن أبي وقاص رضي الله تعالى عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من سعادة ابن آدم ثلاثة ومن شقوة ابن آدم ثلاثة من سعادة ابن آدم المرأة الصالحة والمسكن الصالح ومركب الصالح ومن شقوة ابن آدم المرأة السوء ومسكن السوء ومركب السوء رواه أحمد In this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ that was reported by Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqas رضي الله عنه He said that the Messenger of Allah ﷺ said that from the happiness of the son of Adam are three. And from those things which bring about misery for the son, of, uh, the son of Adam are three. He said from that which is causes happiness for the son of Adam is a righteous woman and a righteous or gr- uh, good dwelling. And a excellent form of uh, uh, excellent riding beast or transportation. And from the misery of the ch- of the son of Adam is an evil woman and a poor dwelling and a deficient. means of transport. So this hadith shows us that some of the three things which help to bring about our happiness in this life, the first being a righteous woman. So when a man chooses a a, a partner, a spouse for life, his wife, that he should choose a woman who has good manners and good, uh, uh, good morals and is righteous, known for righteousness. And this goes the same for the woman who's choosing a husband, that she should choose a husband to be her spouse that is righteous, that is upright and on uh, on straightness. And that also another thing which leads to our happiness in this life is to have a comfortable or a good dwelling. And a good dwelling, of course, is one that brings about comfort, that you can seek refuge in it from the weather, from the harshness of the weather and the harshness of the environment and from and so forth. And a good means of transport. Those things are some of the things which help to bring about happiness in accordance with the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. As for those things which bring about our misery and sadness, the first thing the Prophet ﷺ mentioned is a unrighteous or evil woman. So for example, the person who chooses to marry a woman who is not known for her good conduct and 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 manners that she's known for bad behavior or ill behavior then this can be the cause of that individual's misery and we've seen this countless times and countless examples of people who have chosen 
a bad spouse and paid the consequences in this life and possibly even the hereafter. Because a good spouse, or the woman who marries a good husband, that good husband can be her means to paradise. And the man who marries a good woman, that good woman can be the means for him to gain paradise by treating her kindly, by respecting her, by uh, taking care of her, etc. Also, another reason for our misery is to have a dwelling, a basically a dilapidated dwelling. So a dwelling which is not sufficient to protect you from the uh, weather and the elements. And a real example for us is if one of us were to try to be homeless for one day, meaning to not, to go either stay in a homeless shelter or even uh, worse than that, to stay outdoors, to go stay in one of the cities and stay out on the street and try to weather the environment, then a person would begin to appreciate that which brings them happiness, which is a good, comfortable dwelling. So those people who are less fortunate, they experience the difficulty and that can be a cause for their misery. And the last thing the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned was a transport which is uh, deficient. And that could be from a stubborn riding beast, for example, a horse or a camel or something that is disobedient and that, you know, fights its, uh, its rider. Or even a vehicle that is dilapidated and that doesn't run correctly. For example, in the weather, it overheats or it breaks down. And so a person begins to appreciate the blessings and benefit of having a good, reliable piece of transport. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And anything that I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything that I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan.